Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Curiosity Box and in this video I'm going to do a quick review of the second Monster High doll I have picked and it's Howling Wolf and it's this version. So this is what the box looks like and this is what's on the back of the box. I've also, um, for my um, third Monster High doll, I've ordered Laguna Blue too, because I was watching the Sween Halix reviews and I liked how he showed all the details because I don't actually like any of the Skullet logo. So, but these two have really cute paw prints and translucent sea turtles that's really looked really cute. And then there's a story about the story for the cartoon that they do. So this Halloween in the box and I really like the pink and that her pet's all pink. So I get to get her out of the box now and then I'll tell you what I think and show you a bit more around the doll. So see you in a bit. Yay. So I've got her out of the box and she's really cute actually. I like her bracelets. She's got long pink hair and a really cute outfit on with paw prints and I really like this purple jacket because it reminds me of Rose Tyler when um, she was reunited with the doctor and she had that purple jacket on and she's sort of similar because she's like bad wolf and she's got some really funky boots on and she's got pink tights on which are really cool I really like all the pink and the lime green too so and she's got claws and her makeup's pretty and she's got painted on fangs so I really like this doll so just an insert to add that she comes with this handbag because I forgot to mention it so it's like gold and it's sort of like got a chain handle hang on let's see if the camera can focus So I really like the handbag and it's quite funky and it's gold with blue straps and gold studs on so that's her handbag yay she comes with that too yay this is the background in the box but you can't really do anything with these because there's like holes all over them and they basically just trashed it by attaching the doll to it there's still the doll's still really hard to get out of the packaging and I really hate that they basically put all this work into making the dolls then stab them in the heads with their tags that get stuck in the heads which I think is ridiculous I don't know why they have to attach the heads to the cardboard at all but I really like these boots and you've got binty claws so I really like and she's got this cute bracelet and I really like this doll she comes, as you can see she comes with her doll stand and she also comes with her pet hedgehog cushion which, which is the pink version apparently I don't know anything about Monster High dolls really but apparently this was originally called a different but I really like this pink version so that's really cute and then she also comes with the standard brush thing then you also get this little note about how um, to put the doll on the stand and how the limbs can come off and then put back on again for when you want to dress them. And then of course she also comes with her diary. I like that there's... Hang on. I like that there's a school schedule on the front but it would be even more fun if it was like filled in a bit. So, so I really like this one and she's really cute and I really like the pink hair and she's got a pierced ear and a floppy ear so this is my second doll in my Monster High doll collection but I'm mainly going to be collecting um, being a fan of Ever After High but I'm also going to selectively choose 
some Monster High dolls for a Monster High doll collection. So this is the second one I chose for my collection and she will be stood alongside my first one which is Laguna Fire. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.